Are you wondering how to make animation videos like this one? If so, this video will show you how in no time using RenderForest. RenderForest is an online video creator tool that makes it really easy to make simple animation videos. I'll tell you right now that this is not a free tool, but if used right, it can definitely be worth its value. I'll walk you through how everything works and then give you my opinion about whether or not I thought it was worth it towards the end of the video. RenderForest is essentially a pool of assets that you can use as templates for your videos. You can pick whichever asset package that you want to use and then create a video using only those assets that are within the package. For instance, if I choose the Character Adventures package, I'll be constructing this particular video with these scenes here. You also have the choice of adding stock footage, and there are video and image holders that you can use if you want to place videos or images that are not part of RenderForest in your video. Unfortunately for me, I do find this to be quite restrictive because if you wanted to mix and match different scenes from different packages, you'd have to do that with an editing program like Adobe Premiere after you've exported two different videos. RenderForest uses a credit system and depending on which subscription you chose, you'll have a different number of credits. Two credits to mix and match two different videos is quite a high cost in my opinion. But at the same time, it does make sense to stick with one style of animation for a single video. So let's go ahead and use this package here. Once you've selected the package, you can drag as many scenes as you want into your video. For some packages, there's a choice of adding your script and letting an AI create your video for you. For the most part, I don't use this since I prefer the visuals be chosen through whatever matches closest to my own imagination. But if you're really short on time, I can see this being helpful. The creation process is pretty straightforward. It's pretty much just adding the scenes you want and then adding some text. And the text placement is pretty much fixed to one or two spots. For some scenes, you can also change the duration at the upper right hand corner. If you want to change the sequence of the scenes, all you need to do is click, hold, and then drag to a different spot. A good amount of the packages also have kinetic typography, which I find really cool and pretty useful. There are actually some packages that are all kinetic typography, if that's what you're looking for. Most packages also come with an option to show your logo and social media accounts. If what you're looking for is a logo entrance animation, RenderForce actually has a bunch of those. There's too many to show in this video, so I'll leave a link to the logo animations in the description. After you finally finish with the editing section, you can go ahead and go to style and check out the different choices that you have for the style of the video. Different packages will have different options, but for the most part, the default one is the one that looks best. Not in this case though, I prefer the gradient one. Most packages will also give you the choice of changing the type of transitions that you want. I think if you have the choice of increasing the variety of your transitions, go for it. So the random one is the best choice here. After you're done with choosing your style, you can go ahead and go to color. There are definitely a lot of choices for color, and honestly I have not tried all of them out, but I believe the default one is usually the best one. And customizing your colors, well let's just say there's a lot of opportunities for it to go wrong. However, it's really your choice and your preference. You can go ahead and change the colors to whatever you want, and if it turns out well for you, and if you like it, then awesome. Afterwards, you can add music and a voiceover. Here's where we come to another limitation of RenderForce though. When you have a voiceover, you want to time certain things with certain scenes. Unfortunately, RenderForce doesn't tell you exactly when each scene is played during the video, so you have to keep track of time based on how long each scene is, or the overall length of the video that is shown at the upper right hand corner. Some scenes are a set length in time, so if you don't properly keep track of your time, it might become a bit of a hassle. You'll need to render a preview before you can see the video playback, so this tends to mean you have to render a preview a bunch of times before you get it right. And depending on how long your video is, the render time can span from a few seconds to a couple of minutes. Doing it over and over again can really cause a headache, although there are workarounds if you have Premiere Pro. You can just add the scenes that you want for whatever length as long as they're in the order and then slow down or speed up the scenes to match what you're saying. Most of the transitions are also the same, so if you time it right, you can essentially mix and match any scene that you want from the package, even after exporting the video. RenderForest has been improving over time though. I got it about four months ago, and since then, they've added the AI option, and they now have a website maker and logo maker. So I'm hoping that some of these inefficiencies will be changed later on. RenderForest is definitely a useful tool for creators looking to make simple animations very quickly. You can probably make a video in a few hours if you wanted to use this tool. However, it's not without the limitations that I've mentioned. So does the value outweigh the costs? Just to list the pros and cons, here it is. 
Pros. It's fast, you get smooth and good looking animation. You can use stock footage, you can use their music library, and it's continuously being improved. Cons. Your choices are limited if you don't have a good editing program. Your creativity is also a bit limited based on what assets are out there. And lastly, there may not be a good package for the video you're trying to make. For me at this moment in time, the pros outweigh the cons, because I want to be able to create more videos fast. Most of the value of my content is communicated through what I say. The visuals certainly do play a big role and help with conveying my message, but as of right now, it serves my purpose fairly well. That's pretty much it for the rundown on how to create an explainer animation video using RenderForced. This video is episode 2 of my Creator Tool series, the first episode being how to create a whiteboard animation in one day. Comment below on what else you want me to cover in this series. If you do decide to try out RenderForced, I'll leave an affiliate link down below. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, consider giving it a like. Thanks for watching. Thank you.